Hey guys, welcome to another Figma tutorial in which we're going to learn how to create this web design from scratch. Now, I also want to remind you that I recently launched a Figma course, which is going to bring you from zero to hero in no time. So feel free to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump into the video. So let's get started and let's create our frame in which we're going to contain this website. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply some sort of text and logo. So let's make this one smaller and let's go ahead and let's write over here crypto. And we're going to use Droid Sans and the Let's use the bold version and let's make it a little bit smaller. So basically, this is going to be our base logo for this website. We're going to add a few text elements on the right. So this one's going to be the about section and let's duplicate this just a few times. Services. And this next one is going to be portfolio and contacts. All right, so far, so good. And let's bring this one all the way to the right. And let's actually also add uh, a section which is going to be called uh, um, get started. We're going to add uh, a button around this. All right, so far, so good. Let's make this one rounded just a little bit. And let's uh, center this, group it all together, bring these guys more on the left. And we're pretty much set. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, some uh, illustrations uh, from Design Space. And by the way, I'm going to leave the link in the description. They have an amazing kit uh, available on UI8 uh, where basically it's all about uh, uh, crypto. And you can essentially access this illustration in all sorts of different uh, file formats. So I'm going to leave the link in the description. And uh, for the time being, let's uh, add this uh, PNG right here. And let's uh, starting to add uh, some sort of gradient, which is going to serve us uh, for this uh, desktop website. All right, so far so good. Now let's play around with some color combinations and uh, think that I'm going to give it a shot and use a linear gradient for this specific instance. And let's... Uh, Go ahead over here. Let's make it uh, maybe not darker, but let's try a few different tints. This one is a little bit too much, in my opinion. So let's tone it down just a bit. Maybe something around these lines uh, could actually work pretty well. All right. Let's keep it like this for the time being. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the text. I'm actually going to make these elements stay next to each other. And there we go. All right. So far, so good. And let's go ahead and use the linear gradient. We're going to give it a value or a color around these lines in order to really make it stand out in the composition overall. All right, so far, so good. Now let's add a little bit of a drop shadow over here. And we're going to go ahead and add a Headline, join, all right, so I'm probably going to change the layout a bit 
Maybe let's go with something around these lines. Let's bring it down. And maybe let's do something a bit different. There we go. All right, I'm going to duplicate this and let's bring it up. And now let's center this element as well. All right, probably want to have a second call to action right below. I'm actually wondering if we need at all the call to action on the top, since we could just have one over here. We're going to say watch video. And let's add video over here. And we're essentially looking for a video icon. So let's use something simple and easy. And maybe let's go ahead over here, search for play. And this one I think can work pretty well overall. All right. So far, far so good. So let's go ahead and let's make this one darker. And let's swap the linear gradients that are going on right here. And maybe let's aim for something more around these lines. Um, this is blending a little bit too much within the background, so probably I'm going to just try and use a, a stroke value right here. Let's also get rid of the shadow. Center this. And I'm probably going to go ahead and change the style. So on the top right. Okay, this is starting to look uh, pretty interesting. It's looking pretty cool. Let's center this guy. And let's bring this one up. All right, so far, so good. I think we're totally going in the right direction here. And now we're going to add one more section where we're going to add these uh, three illustrations. So, Let's go ahead here and let's try and, and mimic the height of these elements so that they can be consistent. Or actually, the height is not going to do much, I guess. Just need to kind of mimic the same elements. Uh, have an inconsistency here between these two icons. So probably what we're going to do is we're just going to keep it a feature section. And I'm going to try and uh, level out these two somehow and we're going to call it a day right afterwards so <laughs> let's go ahead here let's copy the text let's make this one darker we're actually going to go with the regular a regular text over here Let's duplicate this. All right. I'm probably going to make this one much darker and this one 
have more of a grayish tint to it. All right, so far, so good. It's looking great. Our USB. Let's bring this one on the right in order to you know, give some visual differentiation between these two elements. And I think we are in a good position. Alright, so far so good. Now what we want to add is a little bit of dimension to, to this, meaning that we want to have a little bit of a, a glow or a shadow. Yep, that will do. Let's bring it up. And uh, at this point, one more thing I want to add is some sort of a footer. Let's make this guy darker as well. And we're essentially going to copy this uh, and uh, let's do that move everything below just to give it some breathing space and we're pretty much set all right so hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i'll see you in the next uh, figma tutorial